A lot of producers ask me, how do I find amazing vocalists for my songs? And today you're gonna learn a couple of methods to do so. We're not gonna talk about picking a simple word and transforming into a vocal. No, we're talking about a full-blown vocal with verses, pre-choruses and choruses directly in your song. But before we begin, answer me these two questions. First, how do you get your vocalists? And second, what is your favorite vocal song? Let us know over here in the comments below and let's get started with this video. Let's go. While listening to tracks that you love on Spotify, you end up finding a lot of good songs with a lot of good vocalists. And you can essentially use these vocalists on your songs. For example, recently I listened to this track from Madeira with this singer called Phoebe Tsen, and you can listen over here. I let my soul cross the ocean before me. Just by listening to the initial sentence, you can tell that she's a good vocalist. And even if you're still not convinced, you can go to her Spotify page and look for more songs as this one over here called Pulling Me Under. I won't give it up. Phoebe is a good singer, but it's important to not only look for a good singer, but also look for the right tonality of the singer. Phoebe, for example, has a deeper kind of voice, but if you want something a little bit midier in your songs, then maybe you should go for this vocalist over here from Shotan and Ned Shepard's songs called Out of the Silence, as you can listen over here. Maybe I'm not enough. Maybe I said too much. This vocalist is Tasha Josephine, and you can listen that she has a more midi, high-end kind of vocal. So it's important to understand what is the kind of vocal and what is the kind of tonality that you're going after, because this essentially could save you some time when looking for the right vocalist for your track. But now let's say that you want Tasha Josephine as your vocalist. What should you do next? So now you should go into her socials and start looking for her email. And after you find her email, you just shoot her an email asking for a collab and just hope for the best. The second easiest way to find a vocalist is just essentially ask a friend if they know any vocalists and that includes asking myself which you can do by DMing me on discord or just joining our server over here or in the description below sometimes we think that we don't know anyone that sings but a friend of a friend might know someone that it sings as it happened to me in my song with Ty Ghetto called find my own I had no idea who Giovanna Bianchi was, but a friend knew Giovanna and it basically sent me an audio of her singing Billie Eilish and I thought that it was Billie Eilish herself, so I just invited her to join the project. The harder side of working with vocalists that are friends of friends is that sometimes they don't have the equipment or the experience of working with melodic house or progressive house songs. And that will require you to supervise the recording, the songwriting and also the processing a little bit deeper as well. But at the same time, you can ask your producer friends for vocalists that they have previously worked with. As it happened with the vocalist called Anna Renee. I've worked with Anna in a lot of tracks and essentially a friend of mine called Robert B asked for her vocalist, I introduced her to him and essentially they made a song together as you can listen over here. Therefore, if you know a producer who has worked with a vocalist that you want, just ask him to introduce her to that vocalist and essentially you can get a head start. Or just ask your friends if they know any vocalist and they might surprise you and end up getting you a vocalist for your track as well. But what do you do if your budget is limited or if you want to work with someone that has never worked in electronic music? Then YouTube is your biggest friend. I've worked with a lot of vocalists already and almost all of them I found while looking for cover songs on YouTube as for example the vocalist called Anna Renee. I I found Anna while looking for a cover of Leaving on a Jet Plane, which you can listen over here. All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go, I'm standing here outside. When listening to cover songs, you have to pay attention again to the tonality of the voice and how the vocalist sings as well. In addition to that, you have to pay attention to a lot of other stuff. Let me know over here in the comment section below if you want me to do a video on how you can find good vocalists for a cheaper price while looking for cover songs on YouTube. Let us know over here in the comment section below. A while ago, I was looking for a vocalist that had a softer tone, but at the same time, a good range in her voice. And while randomly listening to Spotify at the gym, I found this song over here by Love and Julia Michael. Touch me and it's almost like we know that there will be history between us two. And I thought that this could be a great song to look for covers because it had a lot of dynamic range and had a softer tone as well. So essentially I went into YouTube, started searching for covers of love, and I ended up finding this cover from Stephanie Collings. Running from the morning, think I hit a wall, late nights, not you. 
What an amazing voice, right? And then the stalking begun. I remember that Stephanie didn't have her email up, so I had to message her on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And she ended up messaging me back on Facebook, and we essentially talked and did three songs together. It's important to mention, though, that the bigger the artist is on YouTube, the harder it is to hold them and get them to sing on your song. So when looking for covers, aim for vocalists that are smaller on subscriber count because they tend to be easier to talk and also cheaper, which is a big thing for us producers. But this method takes a lot of time and sometimes you just don't have this time. So what do you do then? If you're short on time, the best way to find vocalists is going through websites like Soundbetter or Vocalizer and essentially just look for a vocalist over there. In Soundbetter, for example, just click on vocalist, click the type of vocal that you want and essentially just choose from any of these vocals. Again, you have to find a vocal that fits the tonality that you want and also the budget that you're looking for. For example, that's how my friend called Apollo Nash found Julie Ross as you can listen over here in their song together called You Don't. Don't tell me it's over, no. Cause I don't wanna lose all control. Here in Soundbetter, it's the opposite of YouTube. The bigger the artist is, the easier it is to get their answer because Soundbetter give incentives to people who answer fast. In addition to that, while YouTube is cheaper, Soundbetter can get really expensive. So you should expect the vocalist to ask you for a budget and sometimes even for 50-50 royalty splits as well. Or you can try websites like Voclio and instead of hiring a vocalist, you're just hiring a pre-made vocal like this one that you can listen over here. Watch it all go down like a sunset. Baby, there's no doubt it's a train wreck. Some of the licenses here on Voclio are exclusive, as you can see it over here, but some are also non-exclusive, which means that a lot of other people can buy the same vocal. And that works a little bit like a sample pack, which takes us to our next point in this video. When thinking about a full vocal, you're normally not thinking about a sample pack, right? But sometimes sample packs can feature a full vocal with verses, pre-chorus and choruses, as you can listen in this song over here. I heard this track in one of my recent live streams and I was blown away to discover that this vocal was actually coming from a sample pack, as you can listen over here. The vocal that you've just heard comes from a vocalist called I'm Alright and essentially he's the owner of a website called Soundo, which is my go-to place whenever I want to find full-blown vocals like the one that you've just heard. Now, if you want to check other ways to use vocals in your track, you can check this video over here. Or if you want to discover how to add more effects to your vocals, you can go to this video over here. This is Lilo Reddy from Abstract Music Lab. Cheers!